Hi, I'm Jackie and welcome to Denim. In this video, I'm going to share four steps to a great onboarding experience so your new employees know exactly what it takes to become a success. Step one is the pre-onboarding stage. Now this begins as soon as the candidate accepts your job offer and will continue right up until their first day. This is a crucial stage for your new employee because they may still be looking for reassurance that they've made the right decision. They'll likely feel nervous about starting a new job. So keeping them up to date and informed at this stage will help improve their engagement, their loyalty, and of course, ease those nerves. Here's some top tips to impress any new employee at this stage. Personalise their offer letter. Talk about the qualities that impressed you and even tie it back to your company values. By doing this, it shows that you understand exactly what they're bringing to the table and make them feel valued. Make sure your contracts, handbooks and any onboarding documents are fit for purpose. It sounds obvious, but having documents that reflect your employer brand is crucial. Share any relevant information they might need to hit the ground running. This could be anything from login details, passwords or bios for their social. Step two is all about welcoming your new employee to the team and getting them settled into their role. First of all, be ready for them. As silly as that might sound, we often hear from candidates that they've turned up on their first day to no computer, no induction schedule, and even worse, nobody was expecting them. <laughs> so in this phase, let's focus on reviewing your mission, values and company culture, which will be vital if you operate a remote or hybrid working policy. Go over the essential HR information, such as how to request time off, your absence policy, your company benefits, and answer any other admin related questions. Introduce them to the team and any other stakeholders. We like to get meetings with everybody in the business to go over exactly what we all do. It does take a little bit more time, but it just means that after only two weeks, they feel part of the team. And at the end of this stage, get a quick meeting in your diary with your new start. Make sure they're happy and adjusting well. Next up, step three, role specific training. This will directly affect how successful your new employees will be at their role. Without this training, they might not know what it takes to thrive in your business. But a new hire with a robust and comprehensive training plan will feel welcomed and know that you care about their development. Now this will look different in every business, but perhaps you might want to pair them up with a buddy. Utilize your whole team's skill set so the training doesn't just fall to one person. And lastly, step four. This is a stage that helps new employees go from new hire to teammates. <laughs> So start by setting clear expectations so they know exactly what they're responsible for. It's a good idea to give them SMART goals so they can visualize exactly what success, productivity and quality looks like. After their first month, set up a performance review to recognize all their efforts so far and understand any areas of development. And that's it. All four steps to successfully onboarding your new employees. We hope this helps. Thanks for watching. And for more hints and tips, don't forget to subscribe to Denim. Done.